Oh, and we're starting fast down here today. I can't tell exactly what happened, but something happened. I don't know if this trailer popped off the hitch, or if possibly the bow strap broke that was holding the boat to the trailer. I'm gonna go with the bow strap as the guess for the moment. I think we'd see a lot more panic and scramble going on if the trailer actually popped off the hitch. But this is a big boat to have to deal with. And yep, there we go. Okay. That is the, he's pulled the whole winch off. So now I can't tell if the winch itself broke off or he just was able to pop that off that easy. But I didn't see any tools in his hand. So if he was able to pop that off that easy, that's not a good sign probably either. And we're going to throw a little more action into the mix as we're doing this. So he's working on trying to get that trailer piece put back together. And we've got this other vessel coming in right here down one motor. Which is always a difficult one as well. I know a lot of people, if you don't own a twin engine boat or have never driven a twin engine boat, won't understand. And you think, oh, it's just as easy as doing it from a single engine. But that is just not the case. With the boaters being offset, it makes it difficult. And our crew's going for the reach. We got somebody trying to get off. And <laughs> she's doing everything she can to not fall. And she's going to get on the dock. And we've got another young lady here bringing up a stern line as well. And she, oh, oh, she almost goes down too. But both of them are able to successfully get onto the dock. I'm curious what they're going to do here though. So this guy pulled the whole winch off. But once again, I didn't see him have any tools there. So if it came off that simply, something's broke somewhere. So it might not have been the strap itself. It could be that one of the bolts that was holding the winch itself down broke. But if that's the case too, there had to be a lot of pressure on that thing. So he's taken, we can't see it, but he's taken the winch back over to the front of the boat. So he's obviously trying to get it put back on. But uh, I wish we could get a different angle on this one. And our guy is still working on the winch strap. We've got our boat over here to the left loading now as well. And the boat on the left is getting it lined up. It looks like he's kind of stuck on the trailer a little bit. Oh! Oh, that hurt! He absolutely crunched that bow stop. That one definitely left a mark. And our catamaran over here on the right, they're, they're trying to power it up. So I'm not sure if they're trying to do this without the winch or they've kind of rigged it back up some way. But that's a tough one. If you've ever had one of these break at the ramp, it sucks. And our crew's backing down, and I'm not going to lie. This crew's got some big cojones. Because this is a rolling trailer, and this is not the ramp to do this on they already disconnected the bow eye i saw him do that and i just i couldn't believe it when i was watching it because this ramp's so bumpy that oh no 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 oh oh my gosh they were so lucky right there they just happened to be deep enough barely this crew got so lucky that did not wind up on the ramp when i started when i saw it starting to come off i wasn't sure that they were deep enough that man that is pure luck right there this ramp's just too bumpy for you to try and disconnect that bow eye i don't know who would do it. on a rolling trailer i wouldn't do it until i was in the water anyway and our crew is pulling up to the dock and pretty easy layup right here and we've got one line out but our young lady's looking around a little mystified like hey do we got some more lines She's going to tie this one off. And she's asking for something. It looks like she's asking for sandals. We're going to see the dock shuffle. The dock's a little hot today, and she's showing it right here. Oh, man, there we go. She'll step back onto the boat. They couldn't find her sandals fast enough. And my crew... I guess they're pulling off like that. They can't leave like that. It's as crooked as can be. 
but I guess they're they're gonna let it go. And here comes another crew in right behind them, and the wind and currents got them on this one. We got one off on the dock, but as typical, we only see a bow line. And they need at least a mid or a stern line up there, and we're gonna start swinging this one out. And it looks like they're gonna clear the boat in front of them, but our guy's keeping an eye on it. Like, yeah, bro, stay off my boat. And we'll get that stern line up. But man, she's struggling to try to get this thing back over to the dock as well. And we'll get a second set of hands, it looks like, on the dock. And now a third set. And hopefully that'll be enough for them to get this over here. And we'll get this one buttoned up. And our crew's ready to pull out. And it's not going to go. We're spinning tires. And you've got to be careful. Whoa, be a little careful on this one, guy. That truck's sliding backwards. That's, that's a no-no sign. If you're spinning tires and sliding backwards, that can lead to issues. But my man's giving her heck trying to get this one done. He may have to back this one down a little bit and see if he can kind of get a little bit of a running start and try it from that way. But the boat's a little off as well, which is not going to help much. And our guy, here he goes again, smoking gun. And it looks like he's going to get it pulled out. The question is now is whether they'll keep it like this. And things have definitely gotten busy down here at the end of the day. And where is this guy backing up to? He, well, he's going to the first ramp, but somebody else is going down that ramp. Oh, no. I recognize this truck. No way. This cannot be happening again to this guy. So our guy tied his boat on the dock, went to get his truck, and then this guy with the jet ski decided he was just going to launch. I'm not 100% sure really who's in the wrong here because the jet ski guy probably thought he was going to be able to get in and out of here before this guy got back with his truck. But this is like the fourth time we've caught this happening on video to this dude, which is just the ironic part about it is it's not like we've caught it multiple times happening to other people like to this guy where somebody's literally tried to steal his ramp. Oh, man, it's that's a tough one. And our guy looks like he's going to get back down. He's probably a little flustered now. But I do kind of feel for him because this really is, I mean, like he said, almost every time he comes down here, we catch it happening to him. But he's going to get this trailer down here, and he's going to be able to get out of here this time. And speaking of getting out of here, we're going to get out of here as well. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Miami Boat Ramps. If you did, please check out our other content. We have Wavy Boats, who does a bunch of great things down at Hallover Inlet. My channel, Broncos Guru, we do some great comedy boating videos over there as well. And of course, we've got Boats vs. Hallover, where man and machine take on Mother Nature down at Hallover Inlet, Miami, Florida. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.